if you submit your request to this method with the sign up user directly it will return data to user like id name email address that data you can store into your object you can send to directly business part if it is from any web services client that data also will come here that data also can request your sign up user that data also it can process a simple controller can handle normal request and as well as web services request so a simple restful web services support you can provide by using this path variable not only in the form of like primitive types here we are using id name email right instead of using these types you can use complex data types also like a student object you can take getting so how they can send in the form of object they can send in the form of xml file that xml file data automatically it will convert into object also i mean actually parsers these all things we have to use right but internally it will use that parsers you no need to do any types of parsing automatically it will convert into one object that object itself it will supply okay so not only the simple types you can take complex types also here through path variable here you can use complex types also like employee emp or user directly a user object also it can read getting directly you can process this object means directly you can send this object to user it will not send any http request or response directly your parser it will store data into employee object that object itself it will return to us dispatcher servlet can do this job only dispatcher servlet or else restful web services classes jersey servlet front controller class name is what in case of jersey implementations um, but our action servlet it can't able to do this job okay spring servlet dispatcher servlet it can able to read your requested string request data and it can able to dump into our user defined object so this object you can use directly as a command object okay directly you can use it as a command object and you can call your business method so to call business class we required here again dependency of business user bo do auto wiring here directly you can call bo dot create user pass that user object finally you should return here model and view reference if you want to store any data in map object you can store map new hash map map dot put off key value id i value finally return a model and view object so for end user it will return a simple map id it will return after doing registration that id itself it will return to the client i mean consumers also after doing registration whatever the id it is generating internally that id it will return to the end users
yeah i don't have any service here just it is service consumer but our controllers are service providers right we are providing service here it is using service something facebook service they are consuming here this one is facebook service class service consumer class they are sending data json data from json to they are type casting into json object from json object they are collecting each string okay we will provide here as a service as a provider this one is consumer actually this one is consumer application so this annotation for what we have to use inject annotation this one is j2w annotation inject look here inject annotation belongs to your java api for doing auto wiring for auto wiring you can use this annotation also j2w annotation means in future if you don't want to use spring you can remove but auto wiring it will do in ejb3 also they given this implementations inject actually i i written one class here uh, utilities class to find from which browser the request is from based on i mean uh, uh, we used to call it as like user required response if you want to send like um, they will call this like responsive pages if you want to generate responsive pages like if they request from mobile ui if you want to send mobile output if they request from desktop if you want to send desktop output you require some utility skier while getting that request you need to find whether that request is from mobile browser or like a desktop browser or a like a tab browser it is from any mobile phone so to generate response you outputs you required here some utilities by using that utilities you need to find you need to find whether this request is from desktop or from mobile phones or tabs so based on this utils it will find whether the request is from mobile phone or something else based on that finally while sending response the same response ui also you need to send responsive pages okay you can use anything but the same response you need to send that expected response you need to send mobile user mobile response desktop user desktop response okay actually you have to know right almost we have like 100 types of uis so which ui it is you need to find many user interfaces we have i mean many mobile screens many browsers we have many tabs we have 
many resolutions we have so which resolution which tab which browser everything you should find right many platforms we have not only windows and this um, if you see mobile phones mobile phones platforms um it may have ios platform uh, some uh, mozilla platforms many platforms are there like uh, blackberry platform so based on that user request you need to send responses so that utility is also you need to design here so you require a utility also here to know which browser it is